In this video, we're going to evaluate the following expression. 1 plus the fraction 4 divided by 1 plus 16 root of 5 times 1 plus 8 root of 5 times 1 plus 4 root of 5 times 1 plus square root of 5 and the sum all to the power 48. This is a problem from Amy 2005. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. You might have noticed that a very interesting pattern in this expression is the powers on the number 5. It appeared 4 times and 4 of them are different. One of them is 16th root, and then we have 8th root, 4th root, and lastly, square root. So we write them as indices. They are in fact 5 to the power 1 over 2, 5 to the power 1 over 4, 5 to the power 1 over 8, 5 to the power 1 over 16. The pattern is that they are all powers of 2, it's just the powers are negative, or 1 over positive powers of 2. 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, and 2 to the power 4 is 16. So, in fact, I can further say that, starting from 5 to the power 1 over 16, if it's squared, then it says 5 to the power 1 over 8. Whenever I square something, I'm actually doubling the index. So if I do a further square, then it will become 5 to the power 1 over 4. If I do a square again, then I'll get 5 to the power 1 over 2. So in fact, it's kind of squaring the term 5 to the power 1 over 16 again, again, and again. And at the same time, with a plus 1 together with the powers of 5. So this, is, this reminds me of this identity, which is a very simple one, the difference of squares, which is that for any number x, I can rewrite that as x minus 1 times x plus 1. Let me explain the reason why this identity is useful. x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1. If I let x to be equal to the 16th root of 5, then the 8th root of 5 added by 1, as explained above, is actually x squared for the first term and then added by 1. And similarly, this will then be x to the power of 4 plus 1. And of course, square root of 5 plus 1 is equal to x to the power of 8 plus 1. So then together with the first term, this is just x plus 1. Notice that if I multiply x minus 1 into x plus 1, then of course I will get x squared minus 1. Now, if I further multiply x squared minus 1 by x squared plus 1, then I will get x to the power of 4 minus 1. Now, if I multiply this together with x to the power of 4 plus 1, which is inside the expression, then I will get x to the power 8 minus 1. And then at last, if I multiply this again together with eight to, x to the power 8 added by 1, then finally I will have x to the power 16 minus 1. So this implies if I multiply the entire denominator by something of the form x minus 1, something similar to that, then the whole product will combine into one very simple expression, 
which is x to the power 16 minus 1. So let's see what would I have numerically if I replace x by the 16 root of 5. Now let us go back to our original expression. So from what I've mentioned just now, that means I'm going to multiply by something of the form x minus 1, but I've let x to be the 16, 16 root of 5, which means 5 to the power 1 over 16. So I'm multiplying the entire denominator by the 16 root of 5 minus 1. And the product of these five expressions all together, of course, I need to multiply the numerator by the 16 root of 5 minus 1 as well. So to make sure that the value is, is kept to be the same. Now back to the product of the five expressions, then this will become the 16 root of 5, this term which is actually x, and then the whole thing to the power 16 minus 1. While the numerator is now 4 times the 16th root of 5 minus 1. And then of course, this fraction added by 1 and everything to the power 48. Now then this equals to Five minus one. This is a very important step because I've managed to cancel out the sixteenth root with the sixteenth power. They will actually cancel out, and so that remain that remains five, and five minus one is actually four. So it cancels out with the numerator term. And so that means. I only have the 16th root of 5 minus 1 for the fraction. And inside the bracket, that will be these two terms added by 1 and all to the power of 48. And so that means I have the 16th root of 5 all to the power 48. Now that means I'm having 5 to the power. 1 over 16 originally, and then when I bring it to the power to, to the power 48, I multiply in the index by 48. So that means it's 5 to the power 3, and so the answer, our final answer, is actually 125.